This is YSM Sports Media. I want to thank you for all your love and support. Really appreciate it. We wouldn't be able to do this without you. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button right now and click the notification button for all future content. Here with Hot Shot Haggy. What's good, Jimmy? <laughs> I was just chilling, working, man. Tired. But I'm getting in there. Wednesday. What's going on today? Today, lots of fun. Um, got a lot of guys in there. Right now, uh, 47 pounders, 60 pounders, 54s. Some small 118s in there. Some 22s in there. A little bit of everything. You got anybody out there? Uh, not right now. My guys coming in later. I had a group of guys coming earlier than, you know what I mean, most of the pros here now. But then I'm gonna have a group come later. Uh -huh. so, you got a couple guys about to make their debut? A couple yeah. fighters, because I know you, you yeah. got uh, Mills. Right now, yeah, Mills, Mills, I'm, Mills is tough with the female thing. It's tough. And I realized with the females also, <clears throat> it's a lot of people it's connected to the same people with the females. Mm -hmm. Like, it'd be like groups. So. I think once we get one, we can roll from here. We just gotta get one, gotta be the right one. I, don't, I ain't trying to have her in there right now with no Olympian and nothing like that. But I know, I understand if if she got a match evenly. If she got a match, if she got a match up evenly, then I'll take that, I understand. But for the most part, for the most part, we go, you know, take our time. Where we got July 24th. I mean, making this debut. Are you excited about debut? Yeah, I am, and he is too. I think because it's like when you know you can do something, then you, now you want to see where you can take it. Mm -hmm. I know he a kid that can possibly be champion and be champ for a long time, not just be champ like get it and then give it back up. You see multiple, yeah. Yeah. multiple divisions champ. Yeah, I think so. I think he can do. I think he can turn that twenty six, hold that for a couple years, maybe get it. Maybe get one of them small titles at 26, and then uh, 30, really get get it going, get the title at 30. 35 be great at 35, would be great at 40. I think, I think uh, that's what I think he can do. Now 47, it's getting, it's getting that's like bigger guys. that's like that's like when Ray Leonard jumped to 60. Okay, you no, know he got fight now. You know what I mean? That's how I feel about it. But we see what happens. Uh, speaking of young fighters, uh, Devin Haney yeah. beat Jorge Linares over the weekend. Yeah. And he got a lot of criticism for getting, I guess, the, 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 the liquid legs. What, what, what you mean? You said, oh, my fault, Trey. Yeah. You said the legs? I said, the, uh, he said he got the liquid legs. Oh, liquid legs. Oh, you talking about when they... Oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, we call that spaghetti legs or doing the doggy, some shit like that. <laughs> You know what I mean, but um, that's boxing though. And the thing is, he that was what the end of the tenth. Yeah. So I boxed you all night for nine rounds, ten rounds. You cracked me with some at the end. The thing, the reason why it looked, I guess it looked like something to people, because it was a clear shot and it was a clear reaction, because the bell rung. So he had to walk back to the rules. I mean, back to the corner, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. He had to walk back to the corner. So because he walked back to the corner, just got cracked with a shot. All eyes is on him because his camera zoomed out now. And you get a clear look at him. Yeah. And he really was like, whoa. You could tell he was spun out. When he said he wasn't hurt, he mean I'm not damaged. I'm not out of it. Mm -hmm. I felt that, John. It, yeah, it did something to me, but not enough to hold on and keep me out of the fight. I believe when he got off the stool, he came back for 11. He was thinking about it. Mm -hmm. Like, damn, that was a good shot. But he wasn't like still, I don't think he still was hurt bad. Like, I don't think he was hurt bad. I think he just, I think he just was, you know what I mean? He was thinking about it. Like, damn, that was a good shot. Do you feel like he was more cautious after that? Yeah, of course. We got, only got two more two more rounds left. Um, I can't try to be too greedy, get caught like that. I can't stop and stare at him. Get, I got caught like that. And... You know, I want to win this fight. So, the will to win caused him to hold on. By holding on, I mean, he gripped his knee, gripped Linares up every second he could. Grabbed him at the legs even a couple times. You know what I'm saying? I'm not letting you knock me out after I just boxed, boxed you for 10 rounds. I'm not letting you knock me out. Do you understand the criticism that he's facing for that, though? I understand the criticism, and I don't understand it. I understand it because 
it's a lot of hype around these young fighters. A lot of hype. They talking about they could beat everybody and ain't fighting nobody. And if you is fighting somebody, you fighting somebody who was somebody ten years ago, five years ago. I'm being nice saying five, but ten years ago, Lenora's had it popping for a while back, and he made his money all over the world. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people didn't know who Lenora's was because he wasn't popping too crazy on American TV. He's popping, but you know what I'm saying? That's because you had to respect him. But now at 34, 35 years old, turned pro at 17, he got a lot of wear and tear. He got a lot of fight. I mean, he was punched out of him. Then it was a fact that I saw that I didn't know that he got stopped every time he lost. And he stopped him. I mean, beat him, but didn't stop him. I found that to be interesting. That let me know something. Then he caught him with some clean shots. That let me know some things. And he hit Haney with some clean shots. That let me know some things about Haney, too. Because Lenores was touching him with a hook in the first round, if you pay attention. Mm. Touching him with a short hook in the first round. So, great fight, great experience. I think the kid moves on from it by just being better next time. Not not saying he didn't do good, he did great. But just be, be on some shit, some monster shit. Can a fighter be considered chinny without getting you know, consistently knocked down and knocked out? Is that a, is that, is that a fair criticism? Not really. I don't like that. I don't like stuff like that because I say like this: anybody can get stopped at any at any night. You don't know. You just don't know. It might be a guy who might be twenty, you know, fifteen knockouts, never been touched, and he he doing all the knocking out, and then one night somebody knock come out just just because he never got used to somebody swinging back, or I mean, somebody really really put it on his chin. You know what I'm saying? You never know who. Man, guys, the, in boxing, guys that went out crazy. Like, it's been some crazy knockouts. Unexpected joke. Craziest joke I think I can think about Paul Williams, Sergio Martinez. Paul Williams, in that fight coming up for 47, I think that was his second fight with Martinez? Yeah, that was his second, second fight. fight, right? That was at, the first one was at a catchweight. I think this one was at like a full, six, full 60, 60 right? So, Martinez. Martinez was the bigger guy. He was the 160. Good legs. Paul Williams, you know he coming forward. He let his hands go. I caught with a shot. That was a great knockout. I mean, and that was after I, I feel like Martinez filled him out the first fight. He, he knew he knew you could put some Paul Williams going to come. So you got to bring something to the table. So he brought something to the table. Got him out the way. That was a crazy knockout. But by unexpected, I mean like Rockman and Lennox Lewis. Yeah. I seen that fight live. I'm like, oh shit. Or, or, oh, Rockman and Lynn Lewis. Or, or when I saw, um, let me see, Rockman and Lynn Lewis. And then when I saw, damn, I just had it on the tip of my tongue, bro. But, you know, you know what I mean. 